Hi guys and welcome, I'm Big Al and this is my Journeyman series with IFK Tamara. Now we are on our second season, episode one of the second season. Um, as you know last season we finished just outside mid-table, didn't know I was going to get a contract. Well the, the club renewed my contract, yay. But what in between times, well as you know right before the end of the season we got taken over by a new, by a new uh, owner. Um, since the season ended, there was a vote, vote for chairman change, and there was a whole entire voting system, and they changed the chairman, who then came in and said, nothing's going to change for now, and then, boom, he then sent me a, a new contract, gave me a new contract, and went, oh, you must win the league, PS, we're going to give you 12 mil, we're changing the club to be professional, and we're going to hire in a whole load of staff, so the director of football, Went in and hired in a whole lot of new staff and bought a whole lot of new players. Bear in mind that me being me was in knowing that the club had no money left. Went out and was buying in all free transfers from all the divisions above. There were players that were released, the young players, the older players, just to make us a better team for this season. So there, there's been lots and lots of transfers. As you can see. And as you can see, lots and lots of transfers out. Now, obviously, we sold off most of our players and unfortunately we lost our right back who I signed in last season and uh, who he requested to leave most of these players requested to leave at the end of the season and they did because I was like well you should all go I don't care I'll sign in all a load of new freebies so me being me went out and was sending in loads of freebies not realizing that I had the money to spend and then wondered why all these players were being paid for by the director of football and I forgot I had left him on to sign in players which he's no longer allowed to do but he has given me some decent quality players from higher divisions now as you, like, I mean I'll probably be best to show you a team while I'm going through all these transfers but as you can see all the ones that say free are all the players that I brought in to uh, increase our team now we have a pretty strong team and we're predicted to finish top of the league this season, if we go, is it competitions and uh, is it? Oh, I don't even know where it is on this actually. Uh, where do you get the media predictions? Uh, that's a very, 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 very good point. Where do you get the media predictions? Uh, over season pre, is it season preview? Oh yeah, there you go, season preview. See. Still don't know my way around this game. How long have I been doing these videos for you guys? I am still figuring stuff out. So as you can see, we are evens to uh, win the league. Now, I, I am hoping that we do, because that would be amazing. That is our target this season. Obviously, we will leave the club at the end of the season, no matter what. But we would be lovely to leave this, leave this club having got them promoted with the new squad that we've now purchased and I brought in all these freebies. How awesome am I? <laughs> um, but the good news is they agreed they even give me a coaching badge. That was the first thing they did once the new chairman came in, offered me my new contract. He offered me a coaching badge and then he offered everyone a coaching badge and then everyone who's come in, if they haven't got a coaching badge, who the director of football has brought in, They've given them a coaching badge. They've sent them off to do a coaching badge. So that's great. So they are now becoming a perfect... They have now changed to be a professional club, which is so much better. So today is the first game of the season against IF, against Pieta IF. Now, they are predicted to finish third. They finished seventh last season. We finished ninth. So we were not too far behind them as we flick ourselves back. As I said, I'm not going through all the transfers. You'll see the the transfers and that as we go through you'll get to start learning the players so we are favorites for the game surprise surprise well we're going to be favorites i think for most of the games this season and this is our selection so we still got conchavin who i signed last season who we got brought in last season but we've got jose suarez tanzi and fitterson or two, Jose Zares and Fitterson are new. Tanzi was already here. He was already he was our left back, I believe, last season. He was left back, wasn't he? Or we played him right back. He was playing right back with Nahu on the left. Okay, we've also got Englishman Sinclair on the right, another new signing for on a free transfer, and Rinderoy on the left. Again, I can't remember if we actually paid money for Rinderoy. 
can't remember who we paid money for. Most of them are free transfers. We got Nordmark and Berger with Sigurdsson, Engelblum and Castilian up front. On the bench, we got our Spanish new goalkeeper Tito on a free transfer, which is good. He's played in quite a higher divisions. Gustafin, Paldin. Oh, no, that's not even the bench. Look at me, Al. Al, Al, Al. Just be quiet. Why did I even start? Apologies about that, guys. So, on the bench, we have Jukic, who was re who was a free transfer. His contract had expired. He's 18 years old. His contract had expired at uh, SC Copenhagen. And they didn't offer him a new one. And I just went, oh, I'll just do it out of interest, see if he'll come. And he came. I was delighted. Because he's 18 years old. He is quality. Yes, his handle on the first touch needs to be improved. But look at the rest of his stats. Not bad for an 18-year-old. So hopefully he'll get a few games a season and uh, improve. So anyway, we've got Gunnarsson, Copy, who you know from last season. Uh, Skogelgood. Skogelgold? Nazuri, Anderson and Bazooka from last season as well. So this is the team that's going to play. This is our formation. We have managed to get players in that fit this formation. Um, I'll show you how we've done in preseason before we click on the match. There you go. There's our preseason. 4-0, 4-1, 4-1. defeat the Stoybeck. But Stoybeck are like one of the top teams. Like what division? Are they? They're in the Premier League. And they only beat us 2-0. Norwegian Premier League I think as well isn't it? Yeah they're Norwegian. They beat us only 2-0. They didn't out classes. Didn't out players. Like 42nd and 7th. And it was a penalty. It was their second goal. So they didn't out, out play us in any shape or form. Um, we played, we did really, really well against them. We created a lot of chances. So, in all in all, that's pretty good. 3-0 uh, and a 4-0 victory. So, we can take these green circles into this league this season. I reckon if we can continue performing the way we have been, we will be champions this season. And then I can have a trophy, coaching badge, and then leave. No, no, I got a club promoted in only my second season with them. Well, season and a half, because there were only, what, 13 games into the season last season where we took over? So it'll be a season and a half, and we've got them promoted. We've got them to be the professional club, because they've got new owners and all the rest of it. We'll go away with a trophy and a coaching badge, which should give us a better chance of getting a better paid job. Who knows, we might even get snapped up halfway through this season. I don't know, but my target is... Promotion. That's all they want. Promotion. If I don't get promotion, we ain't um, going to uh, stay at this club. If we're struggling, they will sack us. And then we will be looking for a new job with a coaching badge, but being sacked. And I don't want that to happen. I'd rather us leave on our own terms and do it that way. They give us a two-year contract, by the way. But we ain't going to stay here for the two years. We're literally going to leave at the end of the season. So, straight into the dressing room. As you can see, they're playing a 4-4-2, four, four, pretty much. They're playing two defensive. Um, midfielders, probably to try and counteract our Sigjorsson on the, as the attacking midfielder, because he'll sit in between them two. But that's okay, because we've got Berger and Nodmark with the overlaps of Rinder and Sinclair to deal with. So they may not be able to handle it. That's what I'm hoping for. Different formation from them for this season. So let's get into the dressing room. Let the assistant do the uh, good old team talk which as you can see nobody reacted to so first game of the season let's hope we can uh, continue our preseason form off as you can see three and four goals a game for us that's what i'm looking for so here we go we're kicked off in the all white with the blue stripe against pieta in the all red and white shoulders not expecting anything from the kickoff, so probably why I'm not commentating on it. There you go, highlight over. And already they have an injured player in the pitch, and one that's only 62% fit. Genius, and it's both their defensive midfielders as well. Well, Sig, Sig Johnson should have a good field day with them two then. What is their injury? Can we see what their injury actually is? No, we cannot. Arthur win, Renderoy, in our own half, down the line to Berger. Berger. Plays it down to Castilian. Back to Nodmark. Beautiful ball over the top. Engelbaum. Oh, it's a debut goal for Pontos Engelbaum. This is what I was talking about. We've had this all preseason like this. Um, we're five minutes in. And IFK Timura are 1-0 up. 
and a be- all came from a throw in, Renderoid, a burger, down the line the Castilian, cuts it back inside, not, not a mark, over the dink, over the top, between the two centre backs, and Engelbaum straight in, beautiful finish into the bottom corner, this is why I signed him in that. So as I say, less than 5 minutes in guys, we're 1-0 up, what a way to start this first game of the season, and now we got a quarter, Nod Mark, whips it in, defend it, Berger, oh, did, how did it not go, eh, free kick, okay, okay, it was offside, I thought Jose Zar- Suarez was just going to tap that in, with Fitterson with the knock on, so we're now down to second, in the table, because HFF has scored, but that's, alphabetical order to be fair in it, so, but that's okay, three shots for us, two on target, and we're only 10 minutes into the game, they have yet to have a shot, which is what we wanted this season, I noticed on pre-season, a lot of teams hardly even got a shot against us, we defend it really well, this is probably going to be the first shot, they might even score from here, oh, different type of free kick, corner even, and that was miles wide, so they've had a shot now, but from way out, never going to trouble us, that kind of shot, quite happy with that, if they're going to shoot them all from distance, then I will accept that all day long. So, if we can continue this up, we get a second goal, that'll be great. I don't mind if we don't, but if we get it, it'll be lovely. It'll be nice to get a 2 or 3 nil victory. Conchavin with the goal kick, that's going to be easy for them to take, but we've picked it up in the middle. This is what we want, they're picking it up in the middle. Rinderoy, Berger, Castilian, Castilian's in! Oh, and he's put it wide. Oh, keeper saved it. I thought he put it wide. Corner kick to us. Apologies again for the graphics being a little jumpy, guys. Still using the laptop. New January, I think, we'll be able to afford to pay to get the desktop fixed. And then we should get better videos, so I do apologize. No, Mark Castilian. Oh, good challenge. Good challenge, but we should have picked that up, which we did. I think we're back top of the league, guys. I'm nearly sure I've seen Karuna have equalized yet. So HFF have gone below us. Not Mark with another corner. Can we make this one actually count? Defended again, but it's well cleared. Engelblom. Not Mark. Whips it in. Tanze. Berger. Oh, it's just going back. Berger to Sig Sorsen. Oh, Engelblom. Oh, put it wide. But he was offside anyway. So that's our night. We can handle that. Coming up to 20 minutes in, we're still 1-0 up. We've had 5 shots, 3 on target, which is a lot better than what I thought we might have had. Possession's very 50-50 almost, 49-51 in our favour, but that's not too bad. But we are holding them out, and Hudzigsville has now gone 2-1 up, according to that. Oh, there's loads of goals going in now. We're down to 4th now because of goals going in. But that's okay, first game of the season. Oh, they cut it out nicely. Will they get a counter-attack? It looks like it is. Edstrom. L- Lindstrom. Oh, put it over the bar. Unlucky, Pieta. That's a decent chance from them. That, that is our only downside, is we can get caught at the back. With having two wing-backs so far up, the three centre-backs, if they're not quick enough, they get caught out. But I'm hoping that we should be scoring enough forward wise to not worry about it and there you go their player got injured in the end 50 percent full injury and they had him instantly take him off and Engelborough Engelblum has just picked up a knock as potential knee injury so I think we're gonna have to look at taking him off I don't want him being out for weeks on end he is our main striker and we haven't got a striker on the bench well done, Al. Well done. What a twit you are. Didn't think this through, did you? Put plenty of midfielders in the bench. Uh, we'll just play Bazooka up front. Fake it. He can play attacking midfield, right, left, centre. Let's put him up front. Let's get our injured striker off. As they clear the ball down the wing. Can Lu- R- no. Renderoy couldn't get it, but Berger does. And he's just pumped it straight through. Castilian. Castilian. And it's free kick. Oh, side. Oh, come on. That was a beautiful finish by Castilian. As Bazooka now comes on. Now, he scored quite a few goals from attacking midfield last season. He's not going to have to play up front for the rest of this game. 
So hopefully he can nick a goal. Unfortunately, it's hard to take off Engblom, but... And he is my best striker. So I'm hoping it doesn't kill us. We can always go to one up front, up top, and play two attacking midfielders, which would put loads of pressure on Austin and Hedstrom for Pieta. Because bear in mind, Hedstrom is injured as well. But obviously, I didn't want, with Engblom having a knee injury, I didn't want to get, leave him out there in case it becomes something serious. And Lindstrom picks up the ball from their free kick. Nawawa whips it in. Oof. And it's a save by the keeper. And now the pressure is starting to come on. We should have been 2 0 up in this game. Corner to Pieta. Now I whips it in. Now can we defend it? Yes. But it's gone straight back to Lindstrom. And last season he was dangerous for them. So goal kick. He put it way wide again, thankfully. So we're into the final five minutes here, guys, of the first half. We're still 1 0 up. I was hoping for a 3 or 4 0 win, which, which would have been. Ideally for me, but it looks like Pieta is starting to come back into this game. It's their throw again. As the game goes on, they're coming more and more into it. Edstrom back to Yamadar, back to Edstrom. Edstrom dangerous cross in, and Conchavan saves it and picks up the loose ball. Now, will the highlight remain? Or, yeah, highlight looks like it's remaining for now. Pumps it forward, Bazooka loses out. And here come Pieta again, and they're in behind. Edstrom's in behind, and he puts it wide. Dangerous times from ourselves here. And all of a sudden the tide has turned. They got more possession. They're getting lots more shots. Now this is all since I've taken off Ingbloom. Now hopefully that doesn't mean that we're going to be awful for the next few games. But we are playing counter attack as well by the way. So I might actually change that to control. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's controlling it. <sighs> See I still don't know these icons man can't stand them but if we change the control three minutes we're in the stoppage time here at half time we're currently sitting third in the table come on ref blow it up blow it up come on there it is half time one nil up that's good enough for me for half time and as you can see there's plenty of goals in all the other games as well but let's get into the dressing room and sort this lot out. So let's just say passionately that we're, I'm quite happy with how the first half has gone. I'm going to say you play well, but there's still room for improvement. No one overly reacted to it. Uh, don't think we're going to make any changes. 6.5, 6.5. No, I think we will leave it for now. I might. Everyone seems to be pretty fit as well because we've been playing pretty much the same team through preseason, which is what I because I wanted it familiarity with the players, the positions, etc. So we've been doing that, and we've just been rotating the players a little so that everyone gets used to each other. So yeah, we'll just stick with that for now. Although I am tempted to move bazooka in the attacking midfield and put castilian as the lone striker but for now we'll leave it as it is for now the worst comes the worst that's what we'll do it's pieta's kick off at the second half if things aren't looking great we can go to two attacking midfielders to put pressure on their two defensive midfielders basically lock them out of the game and then put castilian up front on his own because he can do it although his rating's down to 6.5 but i've got no strikers in the bench so we're just got to live with it Rinderoy with the throw in. He finds Castilian. Sigerson. Or Sig Johnson even. Berger. Oh, Bazooka. Come on, kid. Should be doing better with that. And Lindstrom's in again. The centre backs are trying to get back, and Lindstrom puts it wide. Not good enough. Just not good enough because Bazooka lost that in a danger. And then he just counterattacked it straight away. But. We held on to a 1-0 victory. But we're still in 4th place at the minute. Because there's goals. Got, more people are scoring goals. Unfortunately than what we have. Like I mean that's a 4-3 game. Wow. In the first opening game of the season. That's a lot of goals. Like, But you know that's how it goes. It's football for you. We're winning 1-0. I'm happy with a 1-0 victory. Um, I might actually change it though. And put that one lone striker up. And bring. Maybe bring Skull Glendon and take off Sigurdsson 
or Sig Johnson because he can also play attack in midfield but I am tempted to make it he's done a 6.5 but Sinclair's done this 6.2 right let's change this up a little yo I said make substitution okay click on tactics on come on and it's still playing so that's alright have we got our wing back right on the bench no we do not we got two wing back lefts on the bench well, I'm sure Norsey can come on for Sinclair anyway. And we'll make that change for him. And if we move him over, yeah, to there. Drop him into there. And bring him over to, uh, to the middle. By the way, the game is still going in the background. I haven't, like, changed it. I've just left it how it is. He wants to be a target man on support. Well, that's fine. He can be a target man. He's up there alone now. Can I, what kind of does Bazooka want to be? Uh, we can make him be an advanced playmaker on attack because I want him attacking. And Skogland on support. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So, we've now changed our formation slightly because we've got two tackling midfielders and only one striker. So, we've made that tactical change and the substitutions. So, we've now made all three changes. So, now this team has to see out this game. So, it's their throw in for Pieta. And Olsen puts a wet. What? He, how do you shoot from there? He shot all the way from there. Really? You thought you were going to be a good to have him from there, right? Okay. Will the highlight remain? It does. Can we win it? Castilian, the big target man, can't get on the end of it. Now, he's up there alone now, so this should make it a little bit easier for them. But the wing back comes in and wins the ball. Castilian, he's going the wrong way. He plays it back to Tanzi, who plays it out wide to Rinderoy. Rinderoy plays it in, and Scotland plays it in. Castilian, diving header, and it's 2 nothing. Jeffrey Castilian with it looked like a diving header in off the crossbar and that is how you make an impact that is how you do it Rinderoy beautiful ball in and Skokoglund the super sub plays it in and look at that header thumping header in off the bar into the corner no chance for the keeper and it's IRK Timra 2 Pieta 0 and that's just what we needed to go back to the top of the table. And as you can see, the team in second place, San Vikings, they were relegated last season. So I'm expecting them to push for automatic promotion. We're back down in a second as HFF have now 5-3 up. But, 70 minutes, but we haven't conceded so far, thankfully. It's famous last words from me, huh? Big Al, you should have kept your mouth shut. <laughs> 70 minutes, coming up with 70 minutes, gone guys. And with a brand new team this season, and already we are on target. I know it's only the first game, but it's what we wanted to see. Victories. We want to see victories. We like to see them green circles. We don't want to see red circles. We want to see green ones. Free kick to them, dangerous position. And he blasted my wide. I can settle for that all season long. If they want to hit free kicks like that all season, I'll be happy. So 75, come up with 75. We're still 2-0 up. Everyone's looking calm. We're still looking pretty fit compared to the other team. Uh, one or two fitness concerns here with Renderoy and Nodmark. But other than that, everyone else is looking pretty good. Maybe Fit Arson as well struggling slightly. But we're looking... Well, I don't know why um, Scudderglund and Tanji are looking nervous for. We're 2-0 up. Everyone else is looking relaxed and calm and composed. Engelboom before he went off was looking very confident, which is great. But they're looking very nervous, some of their players, which is good. And they're substitutes as well. So if we can maybe nick a third before the end of this game, that would just settle the tie and put us top of the league. Well, the team that were relegated are now 3-0 up, and they now are top of the league. Last five minutes plus stoppage. I am happy. I'll settle for a 2-0 victory in our first game. It's a nice way to come into the season. A nice way to start the videos off with our technically our second season with IFK Timra on the journeyman series you know it's a good way to start the videos off 
it's much better to start off with a victory rather than a defeat like we normally do because <laughs> as you know I ain't a tactical genius and uh, I can see they'll have a lot of goals for some weird reason and really really stupid goals normally caused by my own mistakes well by my own players mistakes they just had a second injury so now they're down to 10 men so not only are we building them 2-0 but now we're starting to break their players we're starting to hurt their players which is just a standard big Al way of playing football to be fair and whenever I play football I ain't a, I'm one of the dirtiest players you'll ever meet I'm too f fly in slide tackle from every position you name it I get stuck in and that's got to be oh it's a free kick to them Norazi fouled him but yeah I'm not exactly the cleanest player I've broke people's legs and all before no not in badness just the way I am whenever I play football I get a little bit too eager and as you can see it was a poor match but I okay Timura are the winners by two goals to nil that puts us third in the table after the first game we didn't concede which is freaking amazing considering last season we couldn't stop goals from going in so much better the team played really 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 well Berger got man of the match the central midfielder who does really really well but the stats are looking really good seven shots to six in our favor four on target for us zero on target for Pieta now that speaks volumes to me zero shots on target I mean Conchavin didn't have to make a save the whole game bit high on our foul count but what's new there with Big Al and his teams were always fouling people and um, possession 51 49 I'm happy with that. Sinclair didn't have the greatest game for the Englishman. But I did want an Englishman in my team. He was free transfer. He in he was basically was going to be back up for my for my wing back position. Uh because he can play wing back quite well. So you know. This is what happens. So I'm delighted with that. It's a great way to start the journeyman series off this time round. I am literally gonna say passionate and I'm very pleased with the result and the, and the performance because it was a very good performance not giving them a shot on target is a very good performance we're third in the second division and that's what I like to see well guys if you've enjoyed our new squad our new way of winning games hit that thumbs up like button so other people can see it hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and you're new to the channel so you don't miss out on any other football manager content or the motorsport manager or anything else that we're doing on the channel it's been a pleasure as always guys all the best thanks very much for watching until next time bye